Hi everyone, welcome to the Drupal Academy. In this tutorial, I will show you how to display the error messages just below the text fields in the form which is created using the web form model. So I have already created the one custom for that go to structure and click on the web forms. Here you can see I have created this custom registration form using the web form open this in a new tab this form looks like as this it has these fields first name last name gender uh, email phone number now i will click on the next button without submitting any data so here you can see for the first name it is showing the error message please fill out this field and it is showing in the pop-up so this is not the great user experience to display the error message like this please fill out this field i will now install the one more model that is the client side validations so using that model we can display the error message just below these text files in a web form so this will allows us to enhance the user experience by ensuring that error messages are clear and easily visible so in the new tab i will search for that model that is the client side validation model in a drupal go to this model download this model as per your drupal version so my current drupal version is a drupal 10 so this model is compatible for the drupal 9.4 to drupal 10 after that click on this download zip folder and download the model copy this folder and place it in your models contrib directory and extract it here after that now i will enable this model for that go to your the back end of your website go to the extend search for the client side validation modules so we need to install three modules that is the client side validation second is the client side validation jquery and third is the webform client side validations click on the install button to install these three modules so these three modules are enabled now go to our web form and refresh it again now i will try to submit the, this form without adding any value and we will check uh, if there is any change in the error message so here you can see now the error message are in line this appears just uh, beside the, this text field so first is the first name field is required uh, second for the last name it is showing that the last name field is required and in the web form for the first name field i have added pattern that is the it should accept the only alphabets so i will show you that so here in the pattern i have added this regular expression to accept the just characters for the first name and added this message please enter the valid first name if i enter any other characters other than the alphabets second thing is i have set the minimum and the max length for this first name field as a minimum length as a 5 and the max length as a 15 so accordingly it will show us the error message for these fields now i will add just two characters i am getting this error message like please enter at least five characters i will enter characters more than five that error message is disappeared now i will add some digits in a first name so it should show us that please enter the valid first name so in this way using the client side validation model we can display the error message in line to the text field 
if you want to display these error messages below this text field so you can do using the uh, CSS uh, also you can change the font color of this message to the red so I will display this error message just below the first name for that we need to add the margin bottom equal to zero display block so here you can see the error message is now appearing just below the text field also you can set the color message as per your requirement so i will set the red for the error message so right now i have added for just for these fields you can add this css comment to the all fields there are some drawbacks as well by using the client side validations client side validation should never be the sole validation mechanism for your forms it can be bypassed by disabling the javascript in a browser or by manipulating the html and javascript code so make sure always perform server side validations to ensure data integrity and the security next is the client side validations relies on the javascripts which may not work consistently across all browsers and devices while modern browsers support javascript well older or less common browsers might not handle validation scripts correctly leading to potential issue so that's it from this video we have learned how to display javascript error message in lines in a form which is created using the web form so for that we have used the client side validation model i hope this tutorial is helpful for you please like the video and subscribe to our channel for more drupal tutorials if you have any query or doubts please put down them in the comments thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial